and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team. You guys, today I'm going to be going over the top 10 most overpowered players in Mutt you guys need right now on your team. Now, if this guy's on this, if, my, if I name a guy on this list, you should probably pick him up, guys. I'm telling you, these guys are bona fide studs. They're guaranteed to make all your opponents cry. They're guaranteed to, these guys are in the meta. They're guaranteed to make everyone you play. Like, these are like, these are the guys that when your top three pops up, you're like, crap. I should quit now. Like, that's that kind of level. You know, when you get into a game, you see Eric Dickerson, Bo Jax, you see those guys, you're like, crap. Like, this isn't going to be fun. It's one of those, these are the players that you need in your team. I'm telling you guys. Now, there's one player on this list specifically. It isn't the best player right now, but he's about to break the game. So, you better have him. I kept mine just for this reason. But we'll get into all that as the video goes on. And guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. We're super close to 17K, and we're really close to 20K. Can we hit our, well, our first big milestone was 10K? Can we hit our second big milestone on YouTube? That'd be awesome if we could, guys. That'd just be awesome if we could hit 20K on YouTube. That'd be awesome. So make sure, make sure it happens. And guys, Nodi Gang, gotta go strong in this video as per usual. Nodi Gang has been crazy great lately. All you guys gotta do to be great is comment down below, Nodi Gang, when you get here, and like the video. Can we get 100 likes in this video in the first 10 minutes? The first 10 minutes of this video being posted. All you guys gotta do, everyone watching right now, if you all hit like the like button, we could probably do it. And can we get 400 likes overall? Hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and let's hop into it. So, coming in at number 10 on this list. This is the guy that I said probably isn't the top 10 player in this game right now. But if you don't have him on your if you don't have him on your team, you're doing something wrong. I'm telling you, if you don't have him at least in your binder ready to go, you're doing something wrong. And you'll see why in just a second. Once we get all the way to the bottom. And that is Lamar Jackson. Now, why is Lamar at number 10 on this list at 93 overall? Look at my Lamar real quick, powered up, right? Fastest quarterback in Madden, right? Tied tied with Vic. But the difference with Vic is that Vic's a 96. Lamar's 93, 94. 93 speed. Almost 90 throw power. Almost 90 medium accuracy. Almost 90 deep accuracy. Almost 90 everything with that speed. Now, you know what's going to happen on the next on the next Lamar Jackson? Lamar Jackson is a shoo-in for the MVP. As well as a potential Super Bowl MVP candidate. So, no matter what, he's getting a MVP award. Which means he will get a 99 overall card in Madden. Because if it's a Super Bowl MVP, he's 99 overall. If it is a... And if all honors MVP, he will be 98, powered up 99. Either way, we're getting a 99 Lamar Jackson within the next three to four weeks. What does that mean? A 99 Lamar Jackson will have a 96 speed, a 94 throw power, a 93 short accuracy, a 90 medium accuracy, a 91 deep accuracy, a 96 throw on the pressure, a 96 throw on the run, and a 94 play action. Now, guess what? When you power him up and chem him up, he'll end up with a 99 speed, a 97 throw power. Probably 96 short accuracy, probably 92 medium accuracy, a 94 deep accuracy, a 96 throw under pressure, a 97 throw on the run, and like a 94 play action. He's going to get dashing dead eye, escape artist, and whatever else he wants. So that's all that matters. He's going to be able to throw a perfect pass on the run while being the fast quarterback in the game, probably having evasive on him too, guys. The next Lamar Jackson is going to be one of the glitchiest cards we've ever seen in Madden history. So I recommend you get him now. I'm still holding on to mine because I know he's going to get one soon, and I don't want to take the chance of being left out when Lamar Jackson breaks Madden 20. Next card is Michael Strahan, coming at number nine. This card has been a beast for me. Powered up and chemmed up. He's gonna have above 90 XL. He's gonna have like an 83 speed, so great athleticism already. With 99 power move with the right pass rushing chems on him. That's all that matters, 99 power move, crazy athletic. That duo right there is crazy, just crazy athletic, not, and he can stop the run. All I gotta say about Michael Strahan, I'm not gonna waste much more time on him because I spent a lot of time on Lamar Jackson, but I'm telling you, that is the duo right there. Speed with a 99 pass rush and a block shed. Michael Strand is an absolute monster. Next is going to be Lawrence Taylor, the NFL 100 card. I'm going to show you guys who looks powered up. Powered up Lawrence Taylor looks like an absolute monster. On my team with Shaker and everything, he has above 90 speed, above 90 excel, above 90 strength, above 90 tackle, above 90 play rack, above 90 block shot, above 90 power move, above 90 finesse move. So he's one of the, he's a threshold pass rusher, a threshold run stuffer, a threshold play rack, threshold tackler. He is threshold strength as well as above 90 speed for an outside linebacker, 86 foot three. Guys, this Lawrence Taylor gets to the quarterback almost every single play. You have to, you have to just get, you have to get rid of the ball quicker. If not, you're gonna get sacked. Lawrence Taylor is that great? I promise you. We're only at number eight, and these how good the cards are. I promise you, they get better. Next one is another Taylor, and guys, this card, I never thought he'd be this good, but oh boy, is he amazing! I'm telling you, I've had this card for only a few days now, and I'm, I'm obsessed. This is on Taylor, six foot two, by the way. Shoot, six foot two, with his speed, jumping, and reach. I'm telling you, he gets so many picks. 94 speed. 
one of the fastest guys in the field. 96 hit power, one of the hardest hitters in the field. 93 zone, one of the best zone coverage guys in the field. With almost 90 tackles, secure tackler, great play rec, great pursuit, great excel. Oh, and he's six foot two. This guy gets tons of deep picks because you think you have him burnt, and he can just he can, with his reach and height, he just makes up for it. There's Sean Taylor, one of the greatest cards in my guys. These are the cards right here. Like, these are the meta. The players in name right now are the cards you better have on your team because if you have them on your team, you're probably not losing too much. Next one, Randy Moss. I had to get rid of this card because I couldn't afford him. I had to power someone else, but I will definitely get him in the near future. This Randy Moss, fully powered up and chemmed up, will have all above 90 route running. Damn near 99 spec catch, damn near 99 deep route running with chems. He will have an above 95 speed, depending on your shaker or sprinter, with great jumping, and he's 6'4". 6'4", can jump like a LeBron James, can catch like any of the greatest catchers in NFL history, and can route run while being as fast as Tyreek Hill. I don't really get to say much more about Randy Moss. Randy Moss's stats just stand out. Like You can just see right there, they're just... He can do it all. I don't really want to talk too much about them because if I spend all day on each card, I'll be here all day. Tor Owens just came out. His first card was great. Never really tried him out though. The second card though is, super, is not Super Bowl's playoff card. This card is a better Randy Moss. Essentially. Now the speed is the only issue is that it's one less than Randy Moss. But powered up and chemmed up, you can get him up to about a 95 speed with 95 jumping, 96 jumping, 99 catching traffic, 97 spec catch, 96 catching, and then all across the board, probably like 93 route running. He's gonna be one of the best route runners, probably the best catcher in the game, while being one of the most athletic wide receivers, and he's six foot three, and he has a 92 stiff arm. That's big, 92 stiff arm is huge, because you go up against guys like Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders can't tackle as it is, but the issue with wide receivers, they don't have many moves like that, so it doesn't matter if he goes to tackle you, he'll probably just get, you might break it when you get lucky, but with, with Terrell Owens, you throw a stiff arm at Dion, you're probably stiff arming him off of you, especially when they're chasing behind you. That's when in pursuit angles, especially, just throw the arm right back and you knock him right off. That's going to be huge for Terrell Owens. Now, speaking of Terrell and the guy covering him, next on the list is Dion Sanders. Now, this Dion guys, he's endgame. That's the thing about Dion Sanders, that he always got to be behind the list because Dion Sanders is endgame every year. It's that simple. You put him on your team, you power him up, and you're good, for the go. you're good to go for the year. This Dion Sanders powered up. On my team, has like 97 speed. Pretty much... The next Dion card also, as well as this one, he's pretty much he's close to 99 speed and 99 agility with great jumping. He's the most athletic card usually on the field with great coverage stats, great play rec, great jumping, great height, and he's super athletic. There's no other way to talk about it with juke and spin and the agility. He can return and he plays offense for you because when he gets the ball back, when he gets a pick or a fumble, he typically takes at least 30 to 40 yards every time and more than likely, more than not, he'll probably take it back to the house. Dion Sanders is super fun to play with as well. I'm telling you guys, you have all these guys on one team. It's gonna be crazy. Now, the only guy that's better than Dion in the secondary right now, and just ever so slightly, is and that's because he just came out, is Champ Bailey. Champ Bailey is the only other guy right now. That I think, I think in my opinion, for the rest of the year, all you gotta do is get Champ Bailey on one side, Dion on the other side, and just keep powering him up as you can. Because this card's insane. Champ Bailey is Dion Sanders V2. But this one, it's a physical Deion Sanders. Look at it. Powered up Champ Bailey will have one less speed, one less excel. Same agility, similar jumping, better play rec, better man by a lot because his man, champ man's gonna get to 99. That's huge. Zone's gonna be exactly the same, and press is going to be so much better. That's the difference, right? Those one stats or whatever, but that ten press, that means that you could if you could blitz, right? You could blitz press champ Bailey. With his speed, he won't get burnt. With his press, he'll hold the man. And with 99 man coverage, I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be the, it's gonna be annoying. Like on the goal line, if they're running slants, you literally just do press man or press blitz, and he's going to have 99 man with above 90 press with above 94 speed. GG, he's not gonna be able to get past them. Dion, you can't do that with because Dion will get he will get shedded right off of him if you start pressing. So that is what makes Champ Bailey so much better for the time being. Obviously, the next Dion card, he'll, Dion's never gonna get that press. Like all year, he just never gets the press. But that's the price you pay for that kind of guy. Now, if you really want to get really crazy physical, you put like Champ Bailey on one side, Richard Sherman on the other, and then you put Dion in like the slot. I'm telling you guys, you're going to be able to press up all day and get crazy things with Dion. But those are the two guys that I think you want to get in your team. Get them year, You can have them year long. Next guy is a guy that, when I first glance, I was like, nah, I don't need him. Michael Vick, guys, this new Michael Vick. You don't need Dashing Deadeye. I didn't realize that when you're throwing the runs that good, you pretty much have Dashing Deadeye. 409K, great price for Michael Vick, first off. Great price. I'm telling you guys, on my team, I was not gonna show my boost, but he has 93 speed, 96 throw power, right? Powered up and counted up with everything. He's gonna have a 94 speed, 99 throw power, above 90 short accuracy, close to 90 medium accuracy, 
well above 91 deep accuracy, good throw on the pressure, and powered up and everything, he's never like a 97 throw on the run. I'm telling you, I make throw on the runs like I have dash and dead eye, but you don't. And he, he converts them. I'm telling you, he makes crazy throw on the run passes, which is huge. Because a lot of times when you're on the run with like Lamar and stuff, they, a lot of every other quarterback overthrows him if they know I'm dashing dead eye. So throw, and a lot of the times with the way the pass rush is this year with the fast quarterback, the boon of your team is that you're out running a pass rusher, but you're throwing the run sucks. Now you have to stop and throw it. And once you stop and throw, you're going to get sacked. So being able to throw on the run, and he does it smoothly too. He just runs just sidearms are right there. It's so easy. That's what I love about this Vic. Combine that with the fact that he can get evasive on him. He can, he's super fast. He can take he can take it 70 all the way if he wants to. And he could throw with a 96 throw power. Guys, he has he has crazy throw power, which is better than most quarterbacks. Which means he can make any he can make any throw on the field. This Vic is over this is the most overpowered they made of Vic in a long time. No Vic's ever felt like this because Vic can never throw that well, and Vic can never throw on the run that well or do any of that stuff. I'm telling you. This Vic was crazy. Now coming at number one is a guy that even if you don't like him, purely off of stats, you have to put him at number one. Look at him powered up on my team. On my team with Shaker and everything, he has a 97 speed. With sprint, you can get him to a 98. Like, a 97 speed for a running back right now is unreal. Acceleration of my team, again, 95. 93 agility, 94 carrying. So what you're telling me is he's one of the most agile backs while being the fastest back. Okay, that sounds normal. With having great carrying, that's unlikely. Usually, speed and agile backs don't have great carrying. Then you tell me that his looseness is high, too. And he has a 96 truck and 94 break tackle. So he is top two strongest back in the game. Number one fastest back in the game. Like, top three most agile back in the game. With good carrying. That, that's it's Barry Sanders and Eric Dickerson combined. This card is absolutely phenomenal. And the beauty of this Bo Jackson, if you get him now, you don't have to replace him for probably a month because there's not going to be many other running backs for the next month or so that come out that are even comparable. Because they're going to give us like a team of the year running back with like a 95 speed, which is going to be exactly like this. Like So even the best card, like team of the year Super Bowl, probably only give us running back to speed as close to, but I think that's the same as Bo Jackson. That's the thing with Bo Jackson. They put him so far ahead of everyone else that he could like, you go ride him out for a while, which is what I love about him. But guys, it is better for the list. I think I covered all of them. That is all 10. So we got Lamar 10, Strahan, Lawrence Taylor, Sean Taylor, Randy Moss, Terrell Owens. Deion Sanders, Champ Bailey, Michael Vick, and Bo Jackson. That's the top 10. Thank you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn the noti bell. Come join the family. Can we get 17K? And Noti Gang, if you're still here or if you're still watching this point, anyone, make sure to comment down below. Say what's up. Comment Noti Gang. And make sure, can we get 100 likes in this video in the first 10 minutes? That'd be awesome. Spam the like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.